At the Seattle waterfront, sights and sounds fill the air within the waterfront. A now not so hidden gem welcomes all to take a trip down their memory lane. Okay, and this is our uh, Wurlitzer jukebox, 1940s. Um, it looks great, but the, the thing that I like about it, it sounds better than it looks. If you That's Ken Eubank. I'll just start it up for you here. He opened right Seattle Antiques Market. Listen to it. In 1978. A brief pause before music. <laughs> However, five years ago, this nostalgia-filled moment would have more than likely not been possible. It was very noisy, and it blocked and it created a lot of dirt. For 41 years, the only sounds echoing through Ken's shop came from the viaduct, which kept a lot of people away. We were considered to be on the other side of the tracks. Ken's issues with the double-decker freeway weren't only business-related. He was here during the 2001 Nisqually earthquake. And it scared the hell out of me. And when it was rocking back and forth, and I was standing on my dock trying to f find a place to hide. When plans were made to tear down the viaduct, Ken didn't push back. I thought it was a great idea. With the viaduct gone, Ken, always ready to embrace change, sees what this location could be. Yeah, there's some nostalgia here, but it could be used for better purposes. There could be a beautiful condominium complex. And if that does happen, don't expect him to go anywhere. Well, I'm planning on getting the top floor of the condominiums. 